Okay. Let's get started. Okay, so there is a, what looks like a pin one marking on cons four, five, six, and 12 have a pin one mark that end. So, over there. For connector eight, we're gonna call that pin one too. The one that's on the left there. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Um, connector 23, connector 13, and connector eight are all um, wired very similarly. <clears throat> they are um, the limit switch connectors. So there is um, very, um, very good uh, uh, consistency. So clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise, and then there's the optical encoder. So on, yeah, let's, so as you can see here, this would be the counterclockwise limit switch right there and then when we spin this thing all the way around the other side of that guy will impinge on this uh, micro switch I don't know if you can see that in there but there's micro switch in there and then there's also the optical encoder and then there's this um, blade which interrupts the optical encoder when it gets around to where it needs to do some interrupting so that spins all the way around, and then that blade will imp will slip into that slot there. You can see, and that will interrupt this guy. So yeah, um, at least those connectors are wired up similarly. So that gives me hope that the sensor connectors up at the top are also wired up similarly, and that will help with detangling this mess but I might just ring it out according to the cable, and then there's also figuring out um, where I can get connectors like that, or I might just have to um, <clears throat> find a different connector to hook this thing up to um, the motor driver boards. So yeah, S progress, I guess. So the, the quill rotation, Quill rotation only has a single um, sensor, a single optical sensor. I don't know if you can see that in there, but that, uh, that, yeah, right there, goes through the optical sensor. So it has a limited range based on this, um, what would you call that, flange, yoke? That part has a, uh, has a blade that is a semicircle that will interrupt the, uh, the the motion. So it it looks like it's got about 180 degrees of of travel there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it basically bisects the circle. So it's got 180 degrees of travel.